again, this is Junior Commander Caroline. And Junior Commander Stephanie. For our last podcast, we decided to bring you some new and fascinating information about the Mars-bound spacecraft named Phoenix. Phoenix is scheduled to land on May 25th on Mars's icy North Pole. The purpose of this mission was to search for evidence of liquid water and chemicals that would have been crucial for previous life there. The Phoenix is landing on Mars's North Pole because of its seasons, which will let scientists study how water impacts Mars's soil. Besides the North Pole seasons, it also has to offer polar ice. This ice may have preserved previous life on Mars, which would give NASA more information on its geological history. NASA researchers have been wondering for years if Mars was once a habitable world, and if the Phoenix lands on Mars safely, then the world would become one step closer to broadening the horizons of space exploration. The Phoenix is the first of its time, equipped with a seven-foot robotic arm, camera, and analyzers to test the weather, seasons, and chemistry of Mars, this spacecraft has all the right tools to make new observations. Despite all these technological advancements on the spacecraft, researchers are still worried about the Phoenix landing. Also known as the seven minutes of terror, the Phoenix landing is what all NASA researchers have been waiting for. Scientists worry about this landing because of the loss of contact with the Phoenix 14 minutes before landing, when the vehicle separates from its cruise stage. After loss of contact, the seven minutes of terror begin. The entry, descent, and landing EDL phases begin once the Phoenix reaches Mars's atmosphere. The landing sequence of the Phoenix includes crucial steps, such as jettisoning its heat shield, expanding its legs, and firing its landing thrusters. If all these steps run smoothly, the next step is to get the EDL communication during touchdown. If communication with Phoenix is reached during touchdown, then the landing is complete, and the Phoenix will have safely reached Mars, and the tests can begin. As the fourth space voyage to Mars, the Phoenix will be the first to reach a Martian pole and to touch the planet's water ice. Stay tuned for the Phoenix landing, happening this May 25th. For more information on the Mars rover, check out nationalgeographic.com keyword phoenix. And as always, you can go to challenger.org for everything about space. For the last time, this has been Junior Commander Caroline. And Junior Commander Stephanie. Remember to always keep exploring. And keep looking out for new discoveries. You never know what you can learn. Over and out!